welcome. I'm Cassidy Cash, and this is That Shakespeare Life. In his play Richard III and in the Henry plays, and even in Macbeth, Shakespeare writes about medical disabilities and physical deformities, like a hunchback having madness, blindness, or being lame. We can tell from these references that disability was present in Shakespeare's lifetime, but what exactly was the understanding of a disability? And was the term monster used to describe someone with a disabled body? In order to help answer some of these questions, I sat down with Jeff Wilson, Shakespeare scholar at Harvard University and author of Richard III's Bodies from Medieval England to Modernity, Shakespeare and Disability History, to examine how understanding 16th century medical history helps characters like Richard III, who calls himself monstrous, make more sense for us today. Here's what Jeff had to say. In the, the 16th century, so about... 20 years or so before Shakespeare starts writing his plays, a French surgeon named Ambra Paré um, writes a book called On Monsters and Prodigies. And he makes a distinction. It wasn't held fully at the time, but he makes a distinction between monsters for what today medical doctors would call physical abnormalities, which often lay people refer to as just people with disabilities. uh, And what, uh, so that's monsters and then prodigies he thinks of as Um, total disruptions of nature, such as a woman who gives birth to a snake. So so these these concepts are all getting formed and and they're fluid and and they're tossed around um, vaguely to mean something that doesn't feel right, given this person's understanding of what nature is. So it turns out monster was a loaded term for the 16th century, and I hope that this helps you understand its use just a little bit more, especially as you explore where it comes up in Shakespeare's plays. If you would like to hear our entire interview with Jeff Wilson, where he shares more history about monstrous birth announcements, deformity, and medical responses to disability, these are all on our podcast, and you can listen completely free at CassidyCash.com slash episode 268. That's CassidyCash.com slash EP 268. Of course, if you'd like to see more visual in-depth research related to disability in England, including examples of some of these monstrous birth announcements from the 16th century that were published during Shakespeare's lifetime, be sure to click the Become a Patron button at that URL to expand all the extra history. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. I'm Cassidy Cash, and I hope you learned something new about the Bard. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.